Let's make an ambush for the PKR. Yeah, it's coming right at us. Question. Very accurate. He's stuck in here. Good morning, afternoon, or evening. This will be a brief tutorial on how to enable the multi-threading build of Arma 3 as of February 2025. It is a fairly simple process, and at the end of this I will also give some recommendations for settings in-game. In order to enable the profiling build of Arma 3, which is the multi-threading build of Arma 3, you'll come to your library, home, find Arma 3, right-click, properties, betas, your version will say none, you'll select profiling. At this time there is the profiling build. The development build is not recommended as it is not multiplayer compatible. Upon selecting the profiling build, you will have a small 50 to 100 megabyte update that you will have to either manually start or it automatically start. For me, I had to manually download it as it was a version change. We'll come into game real quick. We'll take a look at some recommended settings. I personally saw a pretty good performance increase with the multi-threading version. Approximately 33 to 45% is what's uh, generally reported if you don't change your settings. This is me pushing my settings with visibility and quality. Um, my game looks as bright as it is due to the 200 saturation. Um, if you maintain whatever your settings were and add about 30% um, and then bump up these left side settings, uh, you'll probably maintain pretty good performance. Um, I personally could say if you leave these low and bump these up, you'll be like good to go in the clear. A lot of the things that you'll see in improvement is just overall FPS uh, units gen like generating a range. I bumped up my object distance really far. Um, like I said, my current settings are a bit extreme just for testing. Uh, unit scenarios like this used to hang, and by hang I mean like the AI would stop acting, vehicles would crash or whatever because their AI were not able to make decisions at the proper time. Uh, you can have larger battles like this now. Uh, some scenario files will run a lot better, custom scripts run better due to multi-threading, and uh, generally, as I say about a, I say a general 25 to 45 percent increase is a conservative uh, expectation for this multi-threading build. It's very interesting, um, this is done on Armor 3 likely due to the player population still being extremely high compared to Armor Reforger. Uh, Reforger seems to be where they're doing the infusion tests and Armor 3 is blessed with the multi-threading tests. So uh, get this downloaded, give them some data, and uh, we'll see you for Arma 4.